How's it going? This is Dylan with DylanPickups.com and Dylan Talks Tone. As you can see in front of us today, we are going to do a series of videos on coil wire. And so today, one of the things we're going to talk about is what does tension have to do with your tone and the winding of the pickup and does it change it? Because we do everything by hand. So when that pickup is spinning, we're literally feeding the wire onto the bobbin by hand, okay? And um, as I'll show you here, if we take a piece of this wire, um, and I can just grab any one of these and show you, this is, I just broke it. See, if you can pull it that hard it, and break it, it's about as thin as a coarse human hair, okay? And you can see how quickly I could break it. So tension is very, very important. Obviously, you don't want to break the wire, but you do want to pay attention to how much tension there is when we put it onto the bobbin, okay? The reason for that is it kind of goes back to how the wire is made. It starts out as um, a bar of copper. And basically what they do is they have a series of rollers and dies that they push this, they, they heat it and they push it through these rollers and dies. Think of if you were to take Play-Doh and just continue to roll it in your fingers like this or roll it in your hands like this and it would get longer and longer and thinner and thinner. That's basically what happens. Now, just like anything else, uh, the thinner something is, a given force is gonna take more to get through something that's smaller, okay? That's a very simple and elemental way to explain that the thinner the wire is, the higher the resistance is, okay? And they literally make it by stretching it, okay? So just like anything else, you stretch it and it gets thinner. The more you stretch it and the more you squish it, it gets thinner and longer, okay? And that is the way the wire is made. So if we have 42 gauge wire, we have 44 gauge wire, we have 43, we have, uh, this actually goes all the way up to, uh, I have 53 gauge wire available to me. Now that stuff is about $3,000 a pound and we probably wouldn't use it in a guitar pickup. Point being, uh, they squeeze this wire down into this very, 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 very fine strand of wire. And they put coating on it and stuff. We'll talk about that in another video. You can see the different coatings here. But when we're talking about tension on a guitar pickup, I wanted to share with you how it's made because as it's stretched, that changes the resistance of the wire. So as I am winding the wire onto the pickup, I can actually vary the tension without breaking it, which is half of the art or black magic or voodoo or whatever you want to call it. Honestly, it's just getting used to how to do it. If I stretch the wire, I can actually vary the resistance from its nominal resistance per foot in that section. If the wire is X amount of ohms per foot and I'm winding and everything's going good and I stretch it or I let it go too loose, most of the time it's more so because you stretch it. So you, you're literally, when you stretch it, You've made that wire thinner at that point, you've raised the resistance at that point, and now you have an unevenness in your coil because you've actually changed the resistance in that section of the coil. So there's where, uh, you know, learning how to do this and, 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 and figuring out, especially when you're doing it by hand. Now many automo automated machines, and there are many machines, there are many pickups that are said, you know, they're, they're made by hand or they're whatever, but a lot of times they're on automated machines and they have uh, automatic tensioners, they have automatic traverse, which means how, the, how fast it goes this way, right? And um, an automatic speed. So when you're doing it completely by hand, you gotta watch the tension. You'll stretch that wire, you'll make it smaller in a certain spot, it will raise the resistance in that particular spot, and then your pickup will sound different because the resistance of the coil has changed. And if that happens too much, it may not happen, you know, if it happens once in the overall of a pickup, maybe you won't hear it. But if you are very uneven or very inconsistent about that, I'm not saying that it's bad, but it will create a different sound or maybe an anomaly in that particular pickup when compared to other pickups that you have wound. So that is why tension is important in making a pickup. Next time we're gonna talk about coatings because you can see all of these wires look different. There is a reason for that. Does it affect how they sound or is it just for looks? 
We'll talk about that next time. My name is Dylan. This is Dylan Pickups and Dylan Talks Tone. If you have any questions or anything you wanna contribute or ask about, check us out on our YouTube channel at Dylan Pickups and everywhere on the internet, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, all that stuff at Dylan Pickups. Have a great day.